Speaker number six, Bond Wang, telling us about China. Bond, please. Thank you, Connie. Well, I don't know what to say. My brain remembered every word for this speech, but I forgot to bring my brain when I came here today. Ha 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 ha. Dear friend Toastmaster, this is a typical start for a Toastmaster speech, right? Making the audience laugh first. Here's another type, Chinese type. I don't know what to say. I was drunk last night. My wife kicked me out of the bedroom and forced me to kneel on the stones for the whole night. The pain in my knees almost killed me. Thankfully, my drinking buddy sneaked in and brought me another bottle. The pain was gone, but my brain is a mess right now. Well, which one is better? My family moved to Riverside in 2018. 2019, we chartered a Toast Masters Club. Out of 21 members, 17 were Chinese new immigrants. Many of us, including myself, had zero Toast Masters experience. But we made it. Getting to the meetings, speeches, table topics, arms, urns, we were really excited. Then we waited for the next big thing, making friends, right? That is what a club is all about. Well, in China, clubs are still real, let alone making friends at clubs. Deep in heart, we still feel we don't see a brother or sister-like friendship until a crazy drink. I mean, really crazy. Beer doesn't count. One doesn't either. Whiskey tastes like medicine. It must be Chinese brewed rice wine, 60 degrees or above, serving in the tiny cups, one shot at each toast, and soon you lost the counts of the shots we got rowdy, yelling, swearing, and most likely end up with a number of blackouts. Next day when we meet, the first glances might be a little bit embarrassing. Then, big hugs, friends forever. Don't get me wrong, it's not kind of college booze party. In China, we make serious friends at the drinking party. Well, our club mental Pamela saw it as well. I mean, not the drinking part, but the part that we wanted to make friends. Two months after the chartering, Pamela hosted a dual club party at her house with another Toastmasters club, Dumbusters. Dumbusters was about 50 years old at that time. Wow. 50 years versus two months. I was thrilled. We got to be meeting some Toastmasters legends, or maybe a crazy drink. With that, we got to be making some good friends. On a party night, I brought a bottle of Chinese rice wine, 65 degrees. I saw other Chinese members bring the bottles too. Big time, let's make friends. I poured two cups of rice wine. I went to Pamela. She said, I would love to drink, but not tonight. I have to look after the party. Okay, I move on to Marcos. Marcos speech always made me want to cry. We clicked the cups. I drank up. Max took a tiny sip. Then I hinted to him that he should bottom up on, unless he wanted to grow goldfish in the car. Marco said, oh, really? But I would rather drink slowly, and I'm driving. 
okay, I kept on trying, but halfway through the party, I barely sold out three tiny cups. My bottle still as heavy as when I brought it in. Well, everybody had a smiley face. I seemed to be ready to make friends, but apparently drinking was not in the game for the night. They all focused on the front yard, whoever was speaking there. Pamela made funny toast time by time and they invited the members to come up to speak. I was invited too. When I got there, I almost shouted out, hey, let's have a crazy drink. Let's make friends. I didn't do, it, do that. Instead, I was having a lot of arms, arms, even knows. Not only because I was nervous, but also I had a question in my mind. To make friends, drink, or speak? That's the question. Dear friends, two years after, I think now I know the answer. In this new world, you don't have to drink to make friends. You just speak up, tell your own stories. Then you will make tons of good friends. Look, Michael talked about the monster under the bed since he got out of jail. Grandma Marianne talked about how she raised dozens of pets, even poisons. Slowly, I started to tell my own stories too. Now I have made the best friends in my life without a single hangover. Sometimes when I am speaking at a meeting like this one today, I pause and tell myself, wow, this is really cool. Bye bye, 65 degrees and hello my speaking friends in this new world. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Very interesting story. When you started the Toastmasters and until now, 